Hi, and welcome to Trifecta of Pilates. My name is Beth. Today's Pilates class, we're gonna move from one exercise to the other, and have some fun variations on classic exercises. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. We're gonna get started with the Pilates exercise of the 100. If you wanna warm up a little bit first before you do this exercise, pause the video and hop back in once you feel warm. Otherwise, we're gonna warm up with this classic exercise with a fun twist. So lay onto your back, knees into your chest. Keep your knees into the chest to begin with, arms to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, curl on up, keep the knees into your chest, pump your arms, inhale to exhale. Inhale, exhale, split the legs apart. Inhale, switch, exhale. Inhale, switch, exhale. So the exhale today may be a little bit longer than the inhale. Really pulling the knees in before you change sides. So same breath, same arm pump, different legs. One more time each side. Knees into the chest, pause with the arms. Stretch the arms and legs away from one another, squeezing the legs together. Rolling yourself up, bending forward, rolling down. I'm gonna do one more time like this, and then add a twist again. So feeling even along the spine as you roll up and roll down. We want to maintain that as we add on our variations. So roll yourself up, lift one leg, lift the chest, roll yourself down, arms reach behind, switch sides, roll yourself up, curling into yourself, find your lift, roll yourself down, arms behind. One more time like this, each side, before we add another variation. So today's class, all about mixing it up, keeping the work fresh in your body. Rolling up, find that up. Now rock your shape forward, the leg hovers, rock your shape back. Again, rock the shape forward, exhale, inhale, keep the work in the abs, exhale. Keep the leg up, roll all the way down, arms to the ceiling, small leg circles here, inhale to exhale. Inhale to exhale, little leg circles. Two, for one, reverse. Find your breath, arms staying extended if possible. One last time. Again, rock your shape forward, and then roll all the way down, leg releases, arms go behind, second side, here we go. So roll yourself up, find that up shape, and then roll and bend forward, leg stays lifted, rock your shape back. Exhale, abs, rock the shape back. One more time, rock back, roll down, arms stay to the ceiling, small leg circle, breathing in and out. The arms settle into the chest, really trying to stay connected to the abs. Next time the leg circles up, pause, reverse it. Open around and up. Keep breathing with this class. I'm going to try to keep moving as well. One last time. Rock your shape up again, bend the spine. Roll all the way down onto the mat, bend the knees in towards the chest. Give them a little hug, elbows nice and wide here. Curl up to the thighs. We're not stopping for the abs today. Keep the abs pulling in. Take hold of one leg, single leg stretch, switch sides. Breath out, breath in, breath out. So just getting comfortable with how we typically perform this exercise before we add variation. Pause, let's pull both knees in, do little rocks, little rocks and rolls, roll like a ball, inhale to exhale. We'll come back to that single leg stretch in just a moment with a twist. Rolling right along the lower spine. One more time. 
Now roll yourself down, take hold of one leg just for a pause. Interlace the fingers, hands behind the head. Exhale, rotate to that bent knee. Switch legs come just to center. So you're rotating just to one side. Switch legs come just to center. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out and in. So really targeting just one oblique right now. Let that exhale rotate you further around. One last time. Keep the opposite knee in towards you. Rotate to that bent knee. Come center. Switch legs. Find rotation. Come center. Breathing out and in. Maybe every time you try to breathe out a little bit further so you can rotate more, the abs should be feeling a lot of fatigue. Two more times for two. And one. Pull both knees in. Roll yourself up. Open the legs just a little bit wider than the mat. Reach the arms forward. Curl yourself back. Bend your spine forward. Roll yourself back. Sit up tall. Repeat. Exhale. Inhale. Very long breath cycle here. Exhale and inhale. Legs so strong right now. One last time. Hands go behind the head. Rotate to one side. Same elbow, same knee. Come right back up. Center. Switch sides. Rotate. Elbow towards knee. Coming up and center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Each side getting a nice side bend here. Stay center. Arms reach forward here. Roll back part way. Pull the abs in. Stretch the arms forward. Stretch the toes forward. Then hands come down to the floor. Lift the legs up. Open leg rocker. Inhale, exhale. Rolling right along the spine again, just like in rolling like a ball. One more time. Stay up. Squeeze the legs together. Now keep the legs squeezing together like crazy and reach your arms forward. Keep breathing here. Now we're going to challenge ourselves. Open the legs. Squeeze close. Open. Squeeze close. You can take your hands underneath you if need be. Bend your knees if need be because I want you to feel the work in the abs. If you're not, hands or bent legs. Two more times. One last time, keep the legs squeezing, take hold of them, close leg rocker. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze and narrow the legs in towards one another here. So we're calming the nervous system, hopefully, with this rolling before we add on another variation. One more time. Pause. Reach your arms forward. Roll down to your lower spine. Keep your arms reaching forward. Heels together, toes apart, crisscross. So the legs are crossed, cross, cross, cross. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Next time you exhale, cross the legs up. Cross the legs down. Inhale. Cross the legs up. Down. Inhale. One more time. Cross the legs up. Down. Inhale, squeeze the legs together, let them lower down and roll on to your side here. So strong legs still as you're on your side. So that means quadriceps pulling up, abs pulling in. Lift the top leg up and do small circles. Inhale, exhale. Another opportunity to catch hold of your breath if you're feeling a little bit winded. Reverse it. Breathing in, breathing out. Pause here. Now reach that thigh back, 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 back. Keep the thigh back, bend the heel in towards you. Bend your knee into your chest. Extend the leg, pull on back. Sideline bicycle, bend. In, extend, behind. Keep it behind, bend. Then in, extend, behind. One more time in this direction. 
Pause in line with the lower leg, reverse. Forward, bend in, pull it back, extend behind you, get that extension. Reach front, bend, open the hip, keep it open as the leg reaches, and swing in front. Two more times. You try to give yourself that nice hip opener stretch. Keep the leg in line with the lower leg. Pull the abs in, bottom leg up to down, up to down. Breathing out, breathing in. Just breathing as deeply as you can. Inner thigh now, finding activation. Both legs are still staying engaged. Bottom leg stays lifted if possible, top leg up to down. So a little bit more outer thigh work. Inner thigh still working of the bottom leg. This class is all about continuing to breathe, continuing to move. Pause here, squeeze the legs together, flex the feet, bend the knees in towards you, push away. Find the knee bend, push away. Legs stay squeezing together. Two more times. And one last time. Keep the legs down. Your top hand's gonna stay right where it is pushing down into the mat. Let your arm become long if your head was resting on your hand. Push yourself up, lower down. Now your free arm can stay right where it is, down on the floor for some assistance. Or here we go, push up and down. Push up, lower part way down. Breath out and in. This is hard, I know. Getting stronger though. One more time. Very nice. And coming on to your second side. So just trying to remember the same sequence. Legs engaged. Bottom leg stays down for right now. Circle the top leg. Find that deep breath. Inhale to exhale. Breathing deeply for yourself here. Calms the mind. Reverse it. Bottom leg is engaged in pushing down into the mat. That will only help you with the next exercise. Another breath here. Pause the leg, reach the leg behind. Feel that openness through the hip. Keep the thigh behind you, bend the knee in towards your chest. Eventually extend, pull back. Pull behind, in, extend, pull back. Find your breath, inhale to exhale one more time in this direction and the leg reaches in line with the lower leg pause reverse reach front bend in pull the thigh behind you behind you behind you and then extend you should be really trying to struggle to keep yourself still as because that leg is moving so far behind you challenge yourself a little bit try to increase the range of motion when we slow it down Leg stays in line with the lower leg. Lower leg up to down. Lower leg, finding inner thigh activation now. Breathing in, breathing out still. Squeeze the legs together now, top leg up to down. Continuing to find your deep breath. Pause, both legs squeeze together. Bend the knees in towards you, push to straight. Bend the knees in, push. When you bend the knees in, feeling more work right through the obliques. Trying to keep them lifted as best you can. Two more times. And one last time. Very nice. Lower down onto your arm if you're lifted. Push into the hand, bring yourself up. Lower down. Remember, you can keep your bottom arm down for some support or give it a go. Find that lift to the lower part way. Lift and down. Really find that push. Deeper breath. We're almost there for two. And last one. 
Very nice. Roll onto your stomach now on your mat. Squeeze the legs together. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Really roll the shoulders back. Inhale, press yourself up, spine extension. Exhale, lower down, legs lift. Repeat, spine, legs. Now you can keep it here with your hands staying down, or we're gonna try a variation. Bring yourself up, release and catch. Legs rock up to catch. One more time, very nice, lower down. Come up onto your forearms here. Pull the abs in. So no sinking in that low back. You're really hugged in tight with your abs. Lift the legs. Kick, kick, extend. Kick, kick, extend. Breath out and in. Strong pelvis down into the mat. Pulled up still with the abs. One last time. Lower yourself down. I'm going to take hold of just one foot to begin with. Inhale, find push and lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, push, lift. Lower down. One more time. Switch sides. Use your leg to leverage your spine up. So heel pushes away from the butt. Bring the heel back in. One last time. Now switch sides again, and you can repeat single leg, single side, or take hold of the opposite foot as well. Now I know your hips are gonna to wanna to pick up and your butt poke up to the ceiling. Open the hips down to the mat, squeeze the butt down to the floor. Take a breath here, roll the shoulders back, feel the expanse in the chest, push into your feet like crazy, Bring your spine up, bring your thighs up, bring your spine up, thighs up, exhale, lower down. Just two more times. If you're doing single leg variation, switch your legs. One last time. We're going to stay up, stay up, lift more and more and more. Reach the arms and legs away, swim it out, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep breath here. Release, hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes. Pull the abs in and up, roll the shoulders back. Reverse, push up to your plank. Stay in plank, take some breath here. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose, round your spine. Take that leg back, switch sides. Round, knee in, straight back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more time, each side. Very nice, have a seat on your mat once again. Legs swing around in front. Sitting nice and tall, arms reach forward. Just take a cleansing breath here in a still position. Grab behind one thigh, pull that thigh up into you, and extend the leg to bend. Extend the leg to bend. Extend, bend. Keep the leg extended just for a breath here. Then reach your arms forward, leg tries to stay there, lower it down, sit up tall again. Now we all rocked back a little bit. Hook behind the opposite and extend and bend. Find the breath. Then calm the breath, calm the mind. Where can you soften? Keep the leg extended, take a breath here. Now try to stay engaged with your abs as your arms reach forward, leg lowers down. Sit up nice and tall, squeeze the legs together more, pivot your spine back to any degree, come right back up. Find the pivot once again, coming up. Third time, pause and that pivot down. You can, of course, bend your knees and take your hands behind your thighs. We're going to curl in the pelvis, that lower spine. 
then take it back to neutral. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, inhale. Keep it curled. Roll all the way, all the way, all the way down. Arms reach to the ceiling. Allow the arms to soften them to the shoulders. Push the arms down. Inhale, exhale, pull the abs in. Lift both legs up towards the ceiling. Split the legs apart like scissors and switch. Now we're not going to go too terribly low with the leg reaching to the floor. Concern yourself with the opposite leg pulling in towards you more. So you get a nice stretch in the back of the legs. As you keep breathing, can you press your upper shoulders down into the mat so your chest feels nice and full, collarbones wide. Go into a big bicycle motion now with your legs. Inhale to exhale. Keep breathing and moving. Reverse the direction. Inhale to exhale. We're going to stretch out those hips in the next exercise. They're talking to you a little bit. Pause, both legs up. Bend the knees, take the feet down on the mat. Press the feet down like crazy. Pelvic curl up. Roll the spine down. I do two more times with both feet staying down. Really feeling your spinal column rolling along the center of the mat. And we maintain that no matter what we do with the thighs. Stay down now for a breath and take one leg up to the ceiling. Pelvic curl up, single leg, rolling down. Repeat, exhale, inhale. Still try to press evenly into your arms and pop the chest up. Keep and maintain the pelvic curl, bend the knee. Tap in. Tap the toes, pull the knee in. Inhale to exhale. Three, four, two. Keep the knee into your chest, roll your spine down. Replace the foot one time, both feet down. Pelvic curl up and down. Second side, leg extends if possible. Single leg up, roll the spine down. Rolling evenly on, along your spine, pressing evenly into the back of the arms. Exhale to curl, inhale to lower. Two, if you'd like, stay up, bend the knee, swing down and up. Nice freedom from the hip, so we're staying so still in the rest of the body. Two to one, and then keep that leg up, roll yourself down, take the foot down, both feet pressed down, curl pelvis, spine up. Puff the chest up, once you're up, rolling right back down to the mat. Roll yourself up, find a seat. Arms reach forward, pivot yourself back slightly so you're not on your sits bones. Squeeze the legs together, extend one to bend. One leg that is, and bend. When you get to this point in the workout, it's really hard to talk sometimes. <laughs> keep moving with me, keep breathing. Next time you straighten one leg, keep the leg as straight as your body will allow. It's the waistline that rotates you to that thigh. Come back center, waistline and center. Just one more time. Replace, switch, extend opposite. Waistline, hello center, waistline and center. Center, roll yourself down one time. Reach your arms behind your head. We're going to come right back up and add on. So roll yourself up. We're behind the sits bones a little bit again. Abs on fire. Extend one leg. Rotate. Now as you come back center, extend the opposite leg. Rotate to the leg. Center opposite leg. Rotate to center. Rotate to center. One last time. Center. Roll yourself down as your transition. 
So that movement really similar to our crisscross variation we did earlier in the class. Here we go, second side. Extend the opposite leg, rotate to the thigh, switch the legs, come center, rotate again, come center. Find your breath pattern, inhale to exhale. Two, so one, both feet down, roll your spine down, stretch your arms behind your head. You should feel really engaged into the center. Roll yourself right back up, all the way up. A little bit behind the sits bones again. We're still in the abs, we're almost there, I promise. Take your shins tabletop if you can. You may have to hang on a little bit if the abs are feeling a lot of fatigue. Extend and bend. So a little bit more challenging now because the toes are not on the floor for assistance. Now it's all you. Breathing in to breathing out. One more time each side. Let your feet gently rest down. Now one arm forward, up and forward. Arm to forward, arm. We're gonna combine this on the mat in just a moment. Laying down one more time each side. Roll all the way down. Take your legs tabletop, arms to the ceiling, taking a breath. Now reach your legs up towards the ceiling. Reach one leg forward, opposite arm behind you. Come back up, switch sides. Open to close, change both arms and legs to close, repeat. One arm to leg to close. Inhale to close, double it up both arms to legs. Single to close, switch it out to close. Both, just one more time. One to close, to two to close, both. Arms come by the side of your body on your mat, press down into your feet, curl the pelvis spine up. Take some breath here. Now press down into your feet. We're just gonna take a pause here. The more you can coil and curl your pelvis, the more you're gonna open up the hips. I know the last few exercises, the hips were really tight, so take this opportunity to stretch them out. Now reach your arms behind your head. Imagine my hands have hold of your wrists, and you're pulling your arms back behind you. And if I was magical, my hands would also have hold from right behind your knees, stretching your shins forward beyond your toes. Feel how much longer you feel pulling in each direction behind you and forward. Savor that sensation as you roll your spine down on the mat, rolling, rolling, all the way down, all the way down on your mat. Knees hug in towards your chest. Take hold of the shins, roll side to side for right now. Inhale to exhale. Still breathing deeply. Another breath here. Allow yourself to come up, have a seat. Cross one leg in front of the other. So you're in your um, cross-legged position, crisscross applesauce. So they, as they say in elementary school, inhale here. And as you exhale, bend and fold forward from the hip joints. Let your arms come forward. For right now, we're not thinking curl so much. Think more of extending through your spine. Just allow yourself to take some deep breath after that vigorous workout. Settling the tempo and cadence of your breath once again as we do some gentle stretches to end with today. You may even soften in the brow line, jaw, cheeks. Taking another breath here. Then bring yourself up and switch the cross of your legs. So opposite leg crosses in front of you. Trying to keep a nice tall, elongated spine. Pivot yourself forward. Hands can come in front. Remember, it's not today how close you can get your head to the floor. More about that pivot sensation. Breathing in to breathing out. Feel maybe the back of the neck become a little bit more open. 
Breathe into the very base of the spinal column. Maybe softening around the hips. Is there any other part of your body wanting to hold on? Release that now. Taking another breath here. Allow yourself to come up. We're going to stretch out and open the chest. So take the hands behind you. Legs come in front. Really roll the shoulders back. Puff your chest up. And once you have a nice open chest, I want you to really pull the abs in towards the spine. So no um, sensation in that lower back, right? Feel the stretch in the upper chest here. Press down into the arms and really just lift up more. Now, this may be your end range of motion. A lot of times it's my end range of motion. If you'd like, pick the hips up and you may increase the sensation across the front of the chest, opening up a little bit more, and then just back out of it slightly. And again, breathe out. Feel and experience your sensation and back out. Just one more breath here, either staying still or hips lift, back out. Have a seat on your mat now. You can sit cross-legged. Allow the eyes to close. And hopefully the energy of the class is still coursing through your body, really invigorating your body for the rest of the day. Though your mind and breath feels really calm and steady. Sometimes that's a challenge with a faster paced class. We still keep steady, even tempo with the mind, with the breath, as our body is challenged more. So you continue breathing, allow the eyes to open. And I really hope you enjoyed some of those variations. They were fun twists on some classic exercises. And if it's the first time you've ever done them, you may not have gotten them right away. So I suggest just keep coming back to the video. You'll understand the exercises with more and more practice and get more work out of them. As always, I hope you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.